Welcome to the Massachusetts Multicultural Film Festival screening of Picture a Scientist, directed by Sharon Shattuck and Ian Cheney. I'm Daniel Pope, director of the 28th season of the MMFF, together with my assistant curator, Nefeli Fornis Abudaki. The theme for the 2021 festival is alliances. We're fortunate to have here to introduce Picture a Scientist, Jeannie Hardy, a professor of chemistry at UMass Amherst and associate head of the Department of Chemistry. She is the director of the Biotechnology Training Program. Professor Hardy's research focuses on a class of proteins called proteases. She studies every aspect of their behavior and how they change shape and how they're influenced by their environment and then uses this information to develop inhibitors that would be useful in treating diseases like Alzheimer's and combating virally transmitted diseases such as Zika and dengue fever. Professor Hardy is the winner of a number of awards such as the Beckman Young Investigator Award, the Cottrell Scholar Award. She is a Fulbright Fellow and most recently she is the winner of the Mahoney Life Sciences Prize for her work. She was also awarded in 2020 the Northeastern Association of Graduate Schools Graduate Faculty Teaching Award for her work as a mentor, which is particularly relevant for this film. Professor Hardy. Daniel, thank you so much for the invitation. It is really a privilege to be able to introduce Picture a Scientist for the Massachusetts Multicultural Film Festival. This is a truly powerful film that will be meaningful to everyone who watches it. But it is especially poignant for people like me who can identify so closely with the women whose stories we come to appreciate so intimately in this film. If there's one thing the last year has made clear, it's that we all have biases. Implicit ideas that are so embedded in the fabric of our thinking that we don't even realize they're there. Picture a scientist really sheds light on how these biases have impacted one group, my group of female scientists. I'm grateful to MMFF for highlighting this beautiful film, which is both tragic in its history, but also beautiful in the hope and the drive that these women display. What I find so important about this film is how it can inspire all of us to do better in recognizing our own biases and encouraging all of us to see our own privilege and ask how we can use that to help others. I'm really excited for my friends, my colleagues, and the MMFF viewers to see this film for so many reasons. I think it will inspire each of us in unique ways. I have to admit that when I first saw the treatment of Jane Willenbring, I, my instinctual reaction was, well, isn't that the attitude we've all faced as women in science? But then I came to realize how absolutely egregious her treatment was. And I was inspired by the fact that she found an ally, an alliance with Robert Brown, who happened to have been the provost at MIT at the time when the MIT report happened. And he was later the president of BU, who took a stand and used his power and his privilege to put a stop to this really egregious level of sexual harassment that was perpetrated by Dave Marchand. I have to say that I felt my heart break and break in a familiar way when I watched Professor Rachel Burke describe all the time she has to spend just crafting emails that will allow her to thread that fine line so that she can succeed as a woman of color in my chosen field, chemistry. I also viscerally reacted when Nancy Hopkins held up this book representing all of the research she and her colleagues had done on the MIT report on space and equity at MIT many years ago. It made such a difference for her colleagues at MIT then and now, and that work has reverberated across the country and across the world so that people like me can succeed in science. But I was also touched by the fact that she reflected on what science would I have been able to do if I hadn't had to spend all of this time working on this report on gender equity? Think about the amazing science she could have done. 
if only she could have done what she wanted, which was to pursue science on a level playing field. Finally, what's most meaningful to me about this film is that I am sitting in this beautiful lab space. I have plenty of it. And right over on the other side of my lab, I have a bunch of really talented undergraduate and graduate students who trust me as their mentor. And I realize I would not have had this opportunity if it weren't for lots and lots of people of all genders who care about equity and are willing to be allies and fight for it. I hope that Picture a Scientist will inspire you as it has me to look for ways that I can make a difference for people around me, inside and outside of science. I know you're going to love this film. Thank you, Jeannie. Remember to join us on Wednesday, March 3rd at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time for a live conversation and Q&A with the filmmakers, Sharon Shattuck and Ian Cheney, moderated by Jeannie Hardy. Now, enjoy Picture a Scientist.